that IO tutorial today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the spawn points so basically all the little points that spawn and you go collect them um so yeah let's go ahead and get right into it so first things first we want the uh, main camera to follow the sphere so basically what all we're gonna do for now is put the uh, main camera under the sphere game object there we go and then we're gonna create a new script so we're gonna call the script point and then we're going to create a game object called sphere or I'm sorry a game a sphere game object and then we're gonna just check is trigger on the sphere collider and give it a tag of point now this is gonna be our point right now let's go ahead and move it over here to make sure it works that's gigantic scale it down okay so go ahead and take the point script and put it on the point and then open up yeah go ahead and open up the player manager script and then change this update function to be a, an on trigger function so on trigger enter and then in the parameters just say collider other and say if other dot game object dot tag equals equals point then go ahead and one we need it to add to our points so scale points plus equals other dot game object dot get component point and then we have to add we delete all the functions in here for now and just say public integer point amount that's all we add in there for now and then say dot point amount in the player manager script okay so now that that's done all we need to do is go into uh, unity and just click play we need to try to see if this destroy uh, if we get any points for that and i don't think we did okay most likely because we need to set the point oh that's set oh we need to add a rigid body to this guy and then uncheck is gravity and we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and say destroy other dot game object under that uh scale points so uh, little thing there okay And it deletes, and we should have a scale point, which we don't. Because the spear, the point amount is zero, so we're going to have it to be one. For now, anyway. And then we delete it, we eat it, and we have one scale point. Now, that's good for right now, but we don't want to manually place all these guys. So we need to create an empty game object. Right there move it to the center of the camera there we go and then we're going to give that a new script called spawn points sorry about the back background noise if you hear that um yeah that yeah anyway so in the spawn points what we're going to be doing is adding a bunch of variables Okay, sorry about that once more. Um, yeah, anyway, just say public game object. This is going to be a list, and then we're going to put this as points. Okay. After that, all you need to say is public float. So these are going to be two sp floats. Um, the weight for the next spawn point. Go and capitalize some of the stuff. All right. So it, that will be equal to point zero or point one f. So zero point one f. I'm going to say public float. Um, it's like the start weight. So start weight equals zero point one f. And then we're going to say the maximum 
arranged for it to spawn, so X minimum. X maximum. And then we want the Y ma maximum and Y minimum, so same thing here. Y minimum. And Y maximum, okay? And that's all of the uh, those. So now what you're going to say is public void update. You're going to say start weight. So start weight here. Start weight minus equals time dot delta time. And we'll just keep it like that. And then we'll say if start weight. Is greater than or equal to I'm sorry less than or equal to zero sorry about that I meant to say less than then go ahead and spawn the points but we're gonna do that in just a second let's go ahead and create that function real quick public void spawn that'll work right there we're just gonna call spawn and then we're going to say start weight equals weight for next spawn point. Okay, now that's not too much, but next we have to put all the spawn parameters in. So all we need to say is vector2 spawn or position. So let's do position equals new vector2. Random, uh, random dot range between the maximum x maximum, so x minimum and the x maximum, and we're just gonna put the same thing for the y, except y minimum and y maximum. Okay. That's it for that right there. Let's go and go on to the next part. This is basically the spawn point of it. So basically, we're now going to be um, getting the prefab to spawn. So we're going to call this uh, point prefab equals, let's see, what do we call it? Points. And then in here, we're going to say, random dot range between zero and points dot length now that's it for that line but now the last line would be us instantiating it so let's go ahead and instantiate the point prefab at the position at any rotation, so not transfer to rotation, pretty much. It's not any rotation, but it's this to object that rotation, basically. Okay, so that's it right there. Let's go ahead and go back into Unity here. Sorry if I have a stuffy nose, by the way, because uh, I do, I'm talking a little weird here. Okay, so size equals one, and then we need to make this sphere a empty, or a prefab, I'm sorry. And we're going to pull that into the points prefab. And then we can now delete the spear. Now, if we played this, we're actually controlling the wrong thing. Wait, no, we're not. No, we're not. Randix is out of range. Why is that happening? Right here. Hmm. Okay, so the reason for that is because we didn't actually set the uh, x maximum and the y max or the x maximum, y max, and all that. So we're just going to set this to 10. Alright. And now it should be spawning randomly, which is actually what we want. There's still an error going on. We'll see what that is in a second here. That looks good. I mean, it's spawning too many. 
but it's still spawning. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing here. Start weight will be 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Oh, here we are. Here's the points. And many are spawning, which is what we want. Okay. So that is good right there. Now, the problem is we're not getting bigger now. So that's the thing that we need to make basically now is just us getting bigger. So on an, in an update function, all you need to say is scale. Well, actually, this dot transform dot local scale. And then we're going to say, say this to transform dot local cell local scale plus equals new vector three scale points comma scale points comma scale points basically that's what we're saying all right and that's it for now so instead of putting this in the update function go ahead and put it in the trigger function the on trigger enter and then you can just delete the update function Let's go ahead and divide the scale points by like, let's just do 10 and we'll see what happens. Actually, I think that's because we're going teeny, so we need to actually set this to plus equals. I'm sorry, I didn't change it back. Okay. Now this should work. E, E, we're starting to get bigger, too big. Whoops. So as you can see, that's not actually what we want. Okay, so another thing we can do to stop that is change the z-axis to be zero. So we're kind of like stretching it outwards. Sorry about that. And that works, but it works too much. So now we can divide this by, we'll just divide it by 10 just to see what happens. And then we can choose a smaller number. Okay, eat this, and we start to get bigger by a lot, which is not exactly what we want. So we're going to change the scale points to be a float, so it's where we could divide it more evenly, so we don't have to go by increments, of like big increments, you know. Okay, so we're getting bigger. And then we get too big. And we'll constantly get bigger from there. We don't want to be that large. But that's it for this tutorial, guys. Um, in the next, we're going to be fixing that skill problem right here. So that will be fixed by the next tutorial. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one.